going. Is this really the best way out? With us from Washington now is a guy who would say, yes, it is. Iowa, uh, Ohio Democrat Congressman um, Dennis Kucinich. Hello, Congressman. How are you? Hello, Glenn Black. How are you today? I'm very good. Now, you're a guy who says, give me an S, give me an O, all the way to socialism. You like socialism. Really? Well, I voted you? against the bailouts. I don't believe in socialism for the rich. And I also think that it is appropriate for us to have a stimulus package. You point out it's not going to be enough. Our economy is going to need more than just a temporary jolt. And I think it's a step along the way. I don't agree with everything in the stimulus, but I'll tell you one thing. We've got to rebuild America's infrastructure. You obviously agree with that. We have to find a way to get America back to work. We have over 10 million people unemployed right now. That's not good for our country. And something I heard you say recently, we've got to look at our monetary policy. You know, this, the idea of the Fed leading the way on all of these decisions is a dangerous thing. I say that ought to be put under the Treasury. We shouldn't have the Fed have more of a role in the economy. They didn't do proper oversight before. So, you know, there is, we have to look synergistically at the economic stimulus package with the financial stabilization. And unless we do that, we're going to have, we're going to continue to be in a rut. We want, we all want to pull America up and move it forward. Uh, that's what a new administration gives us a chance to do. Congressman, I, I'm questioning the meaning of life right now. I'm questioning, I don't even know what to do. I, good God almighty, well, I have well, found Glenn, common ground with Dennis Kucinich today. You're against well, the... you know, I think it... Go ahead. Yes. I, mean, I, I, I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you but about this the, is Fed. There, the Fed. I swear to God, <laughs> a federal hole reserve has opened up and I've slipped through it. If you Glenn and I... Beck. Yes. Glenn Beck, the Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express. It is, a, it is a private organization, and we need, to, we need to have public control over this if we're going to have public policies it in, in the me? public interest. I, 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 yes, you, yes, Dennis. I <laughs> have words I never thought I'd say. Yes, Dennis Kucinich, you're it's right. A, it's, but we can also stimulate the economy. Look, we need something on the order of a new deal to get millions of okay. Americans back to work rebuilding our infrastructure. Okay. Oh, I'm back to my reality planet again. Thank you. Okay. No, Dennis, we don't need... Look, if you want to do a stimulus package, then you can do a stimulus package. And the fastest way to get to a stimulus is to um, give people their own money, allow them to keep their own money, and, and cut taxes. What we've got here is something... Why are we in such a hurry for this stimulus package when only, what is it, 3%? actually gets into the blood system in the next 12 months. That's craziness. Well we, have to, well, we have to make a start, and we better start now. We have a new administration. It's time to start. And keep in mind, tax cuts don't do anyone who doesn't have a job any good. So we have to get people back to work. This stimulus package over a period of two you know, years may will I, either save or create two to four million jobs. Let me, let, let me just say, uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever worked for a, have you ever worked for a poor person? Oh, I, that's who I work for. That's when I'm in Congress. I'm, I'm in Congress to serve the poor and the rich alike. If I may just, just point the poor's out, been getting, I mean, needs more help. I believe those people are only poor because you bankrupt the city when you ran it. I'm just. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let me tell you about myself, what? Glenn Beck. You don't know me. I, I grew don't. up the oldest of seven. My parents never owned a home. I lived in. We, we were renters. I lived in 21 different places by the time I was 17, including a couple cars. I know what life is like for a lot of people. I'm in Congress to make sure that the poor, middle Americans, working class people have a representative. Dennis. I'm also in there to challenge the way the system is. It's not working. And you I know, these bailouts and for the banks are American, not taking care of the American people. As an American, sir, I respect you for the job that you do. I disagree with you, but you are absolutely in there fighting for what you believe. I wish there were more people in Congress that actually believed in something. I don't think they do. I think I think they're just in there for their own power, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What I meant by there's the question, a, there's a lot of good people in Congress. What, what I meant by the question, sir, was I have never, I've never been employed by somebody who is poor. If you want to create jobs, you don't do it by giving the money to the poor. You give incentives to businesses or small businesses to create more jobs. You give them more money. Have you ever run a business? Oh, yes. I had my own business before when I was out of politics for a while. It's a communications company. So I know what it's do? like. How did it do? Well, I went back into politics, so I had to let it go. Okay. Well, you know that if you had more of your money, you could have created more jobs. 
it, listen, responsible the, listen, capitalism be, is the answer. You know, it would be good if we had that, but the fact of the matter is these big corporations are making money, letting millions of people go. So, we need, it, when the, the government has to be the employer of last resort when the private sector isn't stepping forward to create the jobs. So we have to do both. We have you know to create what? the jobs. Let's agree. The government has to create the jobs, so does the private sector. Let's do this. Let's, let's find a place of agreement uh, uh, on that. You're exactly right. We don't have uh, responsible business right now. It is not the place of the government to come in and bail these giant corporations out. They should fail. I agree with you. They should fail. I agree, I agree with you. It's the wormhole again. Dennis Kucinich, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Congressman. Thank you. Let's talk again, Glenn. Thank our, you. Our